Hi guys, it's Darren here from Deep Blue Apps. We've had quite a few requests for this template and uh, we're going to be putting this along with uh, another template as well in a two game pack. It's going to be really cheap and you notice the ball's just going down, just uh, accelerating down all the ramps and when it comes to a gap it's actually squeezing through. Now um, it's really clever how it works, you can see just coming to the end there and Last but not least, a little skinny one to get through. So that's that. Let's just let it run through again. And then I'm going to show you the second template that's included. And like I said, this one here is really, really easy to set up. Um, you'll know how I've done it once you buy it. You just go into the scene and you can see uh, the actors that you need to place. And it's really quick and easy to set up as well and modify. So <clears throat> that's that one. just going to close that one down now. Um, we're going to go to this one, which is the second template in this pack. And this is a grabber. You can see I've got it set up on keyboards at the moment, but you can quite easily add a heads-up display. There's lots of different layers. It's like a 3D sort of um, prize grabbing machine, this is. You can only move the claw so far. There's no invisible blockers. It's all set up with code, so it makes it more streamlined. I'm just going to grab this yellow one now. You can see the shadow there for the grabber and the little red dot signifies that uh, we're over the yellow one. You just ignore that three there, that's just the ID for the different toys. Let's get this uh, orange one here and you can see the layers working really well. It'll pick it up, grab it and chuck it down the slot and pretty much the same thing will happen if you don't manage to get a, a prize. It'll just go back to its starting position and then you can start again. So that one's pretty nice, and there's different layers and things set up in there to show you how to do it. So with a bit of artwork, you can actually make a nice little mini game where you can win a toy or a prize. And that's about it, guys. Let's reset that one and get a different one this time. Let's go for the pink one. And again, it's very easy to edit and modify. You can have as many toys as you want. The way I've got it set up at the moment is you'll probably be able to get about 20 different items in there. And like I've said, it's all sort of 3D, as in the layers. You notice the yellow one always stays behind the other toys. And yeah, really nice templates, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.